many people are sensitive, sensitive to their environment, sensitive to people, sensitive to noise, sensitive to foods and supplements and things outside of us like dogs and cats. We can use this as a strength or we can utilize this as a weakness. And I'm here to remind you that your sensitivity is actually a beautiful thing. As hard as it may be to hear this, your sensitivities are here to help you grow as a person. When we work together, we look at how these sensitivities may be keeping you stuck on your path. For instance, fears and stress can be stored within the body and this can be quite debilitating. If you're sensitive to gluten, your fear could be having a bad reaction at a restaurant due to cross-contamination. I'd like to give you a few examples about how sensitivities can impact our lives. So if your mom thought that food was love, where she would provide you with food as a way of showing her immense love for you, you might now in your adulthood start to use food as a tool to feel love. So if you're having a relationship that isn't going well, maybe you eat as a way to feel love that you're not getting from that relationship. We also might have experienced during childhood family dinners that were full of fighting or disagreements. And so what that does is that causes a stress reaction in our system. And to this day, if you're now an adult, you might experience a stress reaction when you eat. So food might trigger something inside of you and we can do a generalized shift or change in your mindset so that now food is no longer causing stress to your system it's actually creating nourishment calm peace and you know total abundance instead of a fear-based approach i've worked with numerous clients who are sensitive beings one in particular suffered with all sorts of allergies well we dug deep and we figured out that we needed to look at tomatoes her grandmother loved tomatoes, and when she would spend time with her grandmother, her grandmother would tell her, here's a tomato, eat a tomato. And then she was given these tomatoes that she did not like very much. She also went through a very difficult divorce. And at the time of her divorce, it causes, caused a stress reaction within her system, which triggered her to be sensitive to all these foods. So the combination of the divorce and this memory from childhood with the tomatoes caused these food sensitivities to you know, create this sort of ricochet effect in her system. And now she's eating all these foods with much more joy and has had great healing from our work together. Are you ready to start looking at your sensitivities from a different point of view? Instead of going to an allergist or going on an elimination diet or avoiding situations, we can actually dive deep within a few sessions and you can release anything that feels like imprisonment to you around these sensitivities because you deserve a load of freedom in your body and in your mind and even in your spirit with these sensitivities and I'm here to help. Let's set up a 15 minute complimentary consultation so I can learn more, help you with your goals and see if we're a good fit for working with one another.